and observe a coin landing on an outcome, right? Okay? So what is the, tossing a coin is an experiment. What is the sample space associated with that experiment? It could be a what? Okay, let's think, what could it be? You toss a coin, what can happen? You can observe a, you can observe a, Oh, I'm gonna have, do I have to get out my coin? Here's a coin. It could be a what? Good. It could be a heads, RA, tails. So the experiment is tossing a coin. I can observe an outcome. And the list of possible outcomes is H or what? T. H for heads, T for tails. Okay, you guys okay with that? Anybody have any questions? By the way, when you say toss a coin, what does that mean? You're tossing exactly how many coins? If I say give me an apple, you give me one apple. Can I have a drink? It's what? One drink. Okay. Just, just to let you know. Um, what if you said, hmm, You want to have two children. Two children. That can be thought of as a experiment. Okay. In only in the following sense. Those people that have children, you guys laughed. But um, it's thought of as an experiment in the following sense. An experiment in the sense that you're talking about the sexes of the children. So if you have ch two children. What's the list of all possible outcomes when you have two children? You can have what? Do you guys, can you have two boys? Isn't that an outcome when you have two children? You can have two boys, right? Can you have two girls? What else can you have? A boy and a girl? You can have BG or a what? Girl and a boy, why do you guys distinguish between the two? Huh? Okay, good. I want to point this out. What you're looking at is that if you see the letter B before G, that means you had your boy before you had your what? Daughter. If you see G and then B, that means you had your what? Daughter before you had your, your son. Boy first, girl second, girl first, boy second. So the list of all possible outcomes is what you see here. You guys okay with that? Okay, are you sure? Is that simple or is that hard? Are you guys okay? So far so good? Not that bad, right? Okay. How about this? For example, you roll a die. You roll a die. What? What's a die any anyway? What we, what's a die? It's singular for dice. What are dice? It's those fuzzy things you have on your uh, rear view mirror, right? No? If you find them, let me know. I'd put, I'm, I'll put dice on my, I'd do that just for fun. Okay? Well, when you talk about a die, you're, you're talking about only one of those things. So if you roll that thing, what's the list of possible outcomes? You could get a one, what else? Two, what else? Three, what else? Four, what else? Five, what else? A six. Can you get a seven? Can you get an eight? Is that simple? Is that easy? OK, you I don't know. You guys aren't responding, so that's kind of troubling. Is that OK? All right. Let's note. Could you tell me, for the experiment of tossing a coin, what is n of s? What's n of s here? Two? For the experiment 
of having two children. What's n of s? For the experiment of rolling a die, what's n of s? Six. Let's give you some more examples. A class of students is composed of thirty two females and twenty six males. Can you guys answer this question? If S is the list, or is the roster, then answer the following questions. N of S, N of capital M, N of capital F. So here's the deal. What I'm doing here for you is writing down or using some definitions here of probability before we even got to the probability question, before we, we haven't even got in there yet, but we're laying the foundation for it, giving you the set language, giving you the formal sort of background behind it, and then Triola, the author of the book, comes along and he starts to give questions like this, and this is where students tend to say, oh my God, this is very different. Okay, it's very different. And I turn to students and go, yeah, it was actually easier. Now let's see why that might be easier. Okay. What did they say S was? It's the class roster, right? What's a roster anyway? Isn't it a what? A list of students? Is that true? It's a list. So you can tell me how many students are on the list. How do you know 58? Because what you've done is you've said, okay, on that list, 32 are what? female, and 26 are male. That list is composed of males and females, right? So what's the total going to be? 58. Good. Is that easy? Is that easy? But do you see how this is a little bit different than what I've sort of given you? What I've given you is the nuts and bolts behind of what's happening. This is Trilla comes along and just gives you sort of as a cocktail party language of things, 